Just a, sh just a short while ago this morning, we learned that jobless claims have fallen to 881,000, but layoffs remain high this morning. The latest numbers just in from the Labor Department are a little better than expected, so we'll take any bit of good news when it comes to employment right now. Last week, more than 1 million applied for unemployment. This morning, the government says 13.3 million people are continuing to receive jobless benefits. This time a year ago, 1.7 million people were on un un unemployment benefits. Of course, finding a new career can seem like a daunting task, especially if you are in an industry or you've been in an industry that's really been hurt by this pandemic, like travel or tourism, maybe hospitality or retail. Arizona's family, we want to help you get that gig. So we have brought in experts uh, for months now and joining us this morning, Paul Schnabel. He is an author. His book is called Destination Inspiration. I love that title. Chartering your career during turbulent times. Paul, good morning to you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, you know what? Let you know. I know you've got several tips and and uh, we're going to go through this in the interview. But what would you say when it comes to switching careers altogether. What do you think is the most important piece of advice that you can give folks? I think the most important piece of advice I could give to somebody is to be true to yourself. And I know that a lot of people are in desperate positions right now and they just need a paycheck and they need to bring in the money. And I understand that. But in the long run, if you can honor your truest self, you're in the best position to sustain a lifetime of work and really be inspired in the process. You know, let's keep going with that because, you know, this is an opportunity. A lot of times when you see a, a circumstance, an extreme circumstance in your life, it's an opportunity to make a pivot, to make a shift. But, you know, like you said, when you're trying to just put food on the table, how do you find that courage and the wherewithal to follow that dream? Yeah, I think you have to take a leap, right? And you have to, do things differently than you've been, done them before. I mean, we live in unusual times. So traditional methods for finding work probably aren't the same that they would have been. So thinking about things like creating new connections, right? And so be, beyond just networking, it's really about building relationships. You know, connect to people you might normally not connect to. You know, start writing a blog, doing pro bono work, even virtually during COVID, you can do some of that. We, we're big believers in adding value first. So one of the pivots we did when this hit was to start offering free webinars every week, 30 minute webinars, just to give value to people, not to charge, but just to establish new relationships. And the other thing in an individual basis is to really learn how to ask really good questions and be curious. You don't know what's out there. You don't know what people mm. might know or what people might be able to help you with. And it's so refreshing to meet somebody that's not all about themselves some of the best people I've had to meet that are inspired at their work are ones that are really super curious about you. So it's about not being an alligator, right? What's an alligator look like? Tiny eyes, tiny ears, and a big mouth. Ah, so it's really about listening. Interesting. And you know, one of the things you say, identify your native genius. What do you mean by that? Mm -hmm. So native genius is what are you naturally good at? What's something that you do that you don't even think twice about doing? And oftentimes when people are really good at something, they don't recognize it as something that's an innate talent to them. They think everybody's good at it. You know, we had a colleague that we always used to in meetings at certain junctures said, give her the pen and go up to the whiteboard and get us through this discussion and sketch things out. She asked me one day, why do you always give me the, the pen? Why do I get the pen? It's yeah. because <laughs> you're awesome at the skill. And she, that was like news to her. Sure. So talk to people that know you, take different assessments, because if you can identify your native genius and learn how to apply that in your work, I mean, not only will you be more fulfilled, but you'll be more of an inspiration to others as well. Excellent advice. Paul Schnabel, thank you for spending some time with us this morning and thanks for the uh, good tips. Thank you.